great to be home. Does it still feel like home after all these years in London? Do you know, Australia is always home. But, yeah. uh, you know, I have two homes now. I have Australia and, and London. Excellent. And America, too, in many ways. Yeah, you've been spending a bit of time in LA, I haven't spent you? spent a lot of time in LA, in yeah. Aspen, in, yeah. and in Miami. So what made you decide to work with Invisible Zinc? Well, first of all, they're an Australian. They're an Australian product. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the fact that it's chemical free, mm. and you know, I don't put any chemicals inside my body. So, mm. not putting any chemicals on the outside of my body really resonated with me. Mm. Um, it works. Mm. It's a brilliant innovation, and also because I think it's a message that people need to hear. Mm -hmm. People need to hear that it's not okay not to look after your skin Absolutely. in the sun. You are approaching a big milestone. Yes, I am. Fifty. Now tell me, you, you've said that with age comes wisdom and self-acceptance. Sometimes. Sometimes? <laughs> if you're lucky. Okay, well maybe in your case. So what advice would you give your 20-year-old self? Um, well, stay out of the sun. Mm -hmm. I think that's number one. <laughs> or, Absolutely, how you know, out? Stay out of the sun in, or, or, or be in the sun in a responsible manner, yeah. let's put it that way. Um, do you know, there's nothing, I am who I am. Uh, because of the experiences that I've had and so you know the ups and the downs and the ins and the outs and the highs and the lows and the pains and the tears and the joy and the laughter I would not change a thing mm -hmm. I really wouldn't um, it's a rich tapestry of my life and um, I've I have just grown through these experiences. You're a very devoted, a hands-on mum to yes, your sons, Flynn and Sai. And you've said that, you know, you said that you structure your schedule around them, but your schedule is mad. I mean, you're hosting and producing Britain's Next Top Model, you're doing the show in LA, Fashion yes. Star, you're also obviously a spokesperson for three major brands, and you've got your lingerie line. So yes. how how on earth do you balance it all? Well, these are all long-term projects, mm -hmm. um, uh, so I'm able to pace them over the year. Uh, I work between um, 9 and 3, so I, I drop the kids off, I get up at 5, I drop the kids off at school, we leave at 7.30, <laughs> we leave at 7.30, I'm home by uh, 8.30 on the, from the school run, yeah. I try to go to the gym between 8.30, 9.30, 10 o'clock. Every then day? I, uh, well, yeah, I do some sort of physical exercise because it's sort of like meditation for me. So, yeah. And then at 10 o'clock I start and then I you know, take all the appointments I can, do all the work I can between 10 and 3.30 mm -hmm. and then I do the school run and then homework and everything and then I work when the kids are in bed. Now you segued seamlessly from supermodel into successful businesswoman at a young age as well. Uh, where did you get that business acumen? Was it from your parents or schooling or was it innate? A combination of things. My father was a successful businessman. Mm. My mother is very industrious, and um, you know I'm Australian. So you know, genetically speaking, I was quite blessed. Yeah. And then that coupled with a really um, conscious desire to make meaningful choices in my life and to be sort of at the at the forefront of my choices, not having somebody else make the choices for me.